guys, it's Bobby. And it's Rocky. And we're no experts. experts. Uh, we found out we have some friends coming over and Rocky made this amazing down and dirty guacamole. This is a perfect dish to make when you're in a rush. This is the down and dirty guacamole, only a few ingredients. Let me show you how I make it. Great. You like it? Mm-hmm. So the first thing I'm gonna need for guacamole are some ripe avocados, the star of the show. Next, I'm going to need a small tomato. This'll do. To keep the guacamole green and fresh and delicious, I'm adding some lime. To add some depth of flavor to the guacamole, I'm using an onion. You can use whatever onion you like. I have this white one sitting around. Next, I add some olive oil for texture, and then of course, salt and pepper to taste. And now for my ingrediente secreto, hot sauce. I love to use Cholula, but I'm out, so I use what I have around. After I've washed all my ingredients, I start by scooping the avocado out of their skins. Another important secret with my guacamole is that I keep the pits from the avocados. You'll see why later. I cut about a quarter cup of onion, but I'm not going to use it all. I just eyeball it. Now it's time to mash. I don't mash too hard or too much because I like my guacamole chunky, but I do it just enough to kind of incorporate the onion into the avocado because it's really important to get that flavor in there. I like a splash of olive oil. Now I'm going to add some salt and some pepper to taste. You can use other seasonings like chili powder or cumin, whatever floats your boat. Next up, I add my lime juice. This is going to keep my guac green and tasty. Yum! And then I add the tomatoes. Now it's time to mix everything up. This time around, I use a spoon, not the fork. The spoon keeps it from getting too mashed up. I like this chunky, and the spoon helps me keep it that way. And last but not least, my secret ingredient, the hot sauce. You can add as little or as much as you want, as long as you get a little bit of caliente in your guac. I want to mix this all in, but I'm very careful not to overdo it, because I want to keep it chunky. Okay, this is the important part. We're no experts over here, but we do know that these avocado pits keep your guacamole from turning that icky, yucky, dark color. Leave these in and you're gonna stay green. I have a little extra time to put the guacamole in the fridge to allow the flavors to settle and marinate. So I'm adding this plastic wrap on the top for extra protection to keep it beautiful and fresh. Wow, that was super easy. And if you mm. like what you saw, subscribe to the button below the video. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm gonna have a chip right Those now, actually, really and some of that guacamole. I'm guacamole before I eat it Yeah, all. I am. Mm. Okay, guys, until next time. Bye. Bye. Adios.